Ah, great. You can hear me now. Hi, I'm Chandra McIntosh. You might know me from such shows as How to Use a Panasonic 151 and TV Studios for Dummies. If you haven't figured it out already, I'm here to talk to you about sound. Yes, you heard it right. Sound. Sound is very important for any film you're going to make. So I'm going to prepare you for 21st century sound equipment. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Jimmy Hamilton. Hello, Jimmy. Gee whiz, Mr. Chandler. I can't wait to learn about this 21st century sound equipment. Before we get started, I would like to introduce my lovely assistant, Tilda. Here we have what those future kids call a rifle mic. This is used to pick up sounds and dialogue. Over here we have the boom pole. This is what you attach to the rifle mic. You would use this to pick up faraway sounds and dialogue if the camera is far away from the actors. If you're filming an interview or want to pick up a clearer dialogue, I suggest you use this box known as the radio mic. And this is the Panasonic 151, which will attach the tripod for a steady shot. So let's get learning, guys. Let's start with the rifle mic. Jimmy, I want you to connect the wire next to the rifle mic from the camera to the microphone. The end with the pins goes in the channel on the right-hand side of the camera, while the other end fits into the bottom of the rifle mic. Like this? That is correct. Now look behind the screen. Make sure that channel 2 is set to input 2 and channel 1 is set to internal. As Tilda clicks into the rifle mic, be sure to check the sound levels. What happens if I push it to the top? Then the sound will get louder, then peak. Jimmy, put those levels back to normal, please. Remember, if the sound levels hit red, it means it has peaked and you will lose the sound forever. But what is this for? Well, Jimmy, the metal top screws into the bottom of the rifle mic. Give it a try. Now let's go out and practice using it. Remember to use the boom pole to pick up specific noises and dialogue. What is this fluffy thing for? Ah yes, well that fluffy thing is to help stop background noises or help reduce the noise of wind. Awesome, let's go try this out. Jimmy, get that boom pole out of the shot. Why don't you experiment with sounds around the diner? I know these both look the same, but they both have different jobs. One is called a receiver. This is placed on top of the camera to pick up the sound from the microphone. Put the part of the cable with the pins into the top channel on the right-hand side of the camera. Now make sure channel 1 is set to input 1. How would we know if it works? To turn it on, all we need to do is open the flap. Then press and hold the button on the left. Once the lights turn green, you're set to go. But always double check that you have enough battery power. You don't want your microphone to switch off mid-interview. Tilda has attached the other part of the radio mic to herself and has attached the lapel to her collar so her voice is clear and not distorted. What's that noise? Did you forget to check? If you do not place the microphone correctly, you could end up getting distracting noises through the microphone during the interview. Is that better? Yes, Jimmy. Why don't you give it a test run? Can you please speak into the camera? Hey, my name's Tilda. Testing. One, two, three. Oh boy, it works. I think I'm all set to go use this 21st century sound equipment. <laughs> well, you'll have to wait a few decades for that. Oh, oh, dang. Thank you for helping me learn, Mr. Chandler. Anytime, Jimmy. Now you go do your homework. You don't want to make your mom angry. Now you know everything to make the perfect film with this amazing sound equipment. <laughs> Go on! 